Happy Friday. Happy Friday, ladies. I'm coming on here to share a story of when I was a hot mess. <laughs> I think it's it's time to reveal some stories, details. Um, <laughs> for those of you who are wondering, my shirt, it, hopefully it's not too distracting. It says, don't worry, just sparkle. I hope everyone's week has been well. If you are joining in, say hello. Or if you're catching it on the replay, let me know. Still say hello. So I wanted to share a story. Um, I was thinking about earlier that basically about mourning the girl I used to be. Um, the girl I used to be was a hot mess. Um, <laughs> She was, she was a hot mess. And yeah, so that, that's my question I want to pose. Have you ever mourned the girl you used to be? Or thought like, what the hell was I thinking? Like, what was, what was going on? Um, I often think those thoughts. So anyways, the reason why I was thinking that because I thought about a time. So I'm going to tell you a story. <laughs> um, some of my close friends will probably remember this story. Definitely will remember. It's hard not to remember. So a few years ago, and I'm going to use a hypothetical name because the point of this is not to bash the guy. Um, you know, the point is just to share just a little bit about a mess that I was in and the level of desperation and just the craziness, um, just the mindset that I was in. So for for hypothetical, we'll just call this guy Tom. That's a safe name. I've never dated anybody named Tom, so. <laughs> um, okay, so here it is. Um, I'm gonna try to make it short. So a few years ago, I was um, dating this guy exclusively named Tom. And um, what happened, this is not easy for me to share, but I feel like I need to share it because I need, I need people to know like growth is possible, especially from where I was. So anyways, okay, let's go. Um, <laughs> Tom and I were only dating for like three months before we decided to make an offer on a property. Yeah. I did that. It was it was actually my idea. Um, so I really wanted this property mostly for business purposes. I was having a hard time at the office space that I was renting. There was a lot of issues there, and I'm thinking, wow, this this must be meant to be. God must have like aligned this for me. Um, the property was across the street from my office at the time, and long story short, so. I end up, we made an offer on the property and um, while going through some of the process, I went to my friend's wedding and during that time, one of the women, um, and I have to say shout out to her, I won't name her, but she was an attorney and she made me think about like, did you look into this? Did you look into that? Um like the guy's financial situation. No, I didn't do any of that. <laughs> I was just, <clears throat> you know, like, hmm, it, what's the worst that could happen? I was not, I was, I think I was in such a, a desperate state. One, for the property and two, for this relationship. And the relationship wasn't even going that well, but I think I was fooling myself to believe that, oh, this is going well. It's fine. Meanwhile, my friends is looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, Toya, what are you doing? And people were literally telling me like, mm, you sure you want to do this? Um, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go through with it. But what really, what really shifted my mindset was when the attorney was like really listing out like, well, this could go wrong. This could go wrong. And then I was like, oh gosh, I didn't think about that. 
Um, and so when I got back from the trip, I, I actually called it off. Luckily I was able to get my money back, but there, what if I didn't, right? That was just a blessing. Um, but it, and then it's so crazy because a, a couple months later, some things came out and I won't share that just for the privacy of the guy, but some things came out that could have backfired on both of us. So, um, and then the relationship wasn't going well anyways at that point, but regardless, I was just in, again, I was in such a, a desperate space and I so badly wanted um, this to work and the relationship, the house, and anyways, I just look back and I think, what was I thinking? And I I really, I have part of my healing process. I really had to mourn the girl that I used to be and forgive her. That So that that's really is the moral of this, that sometimes we need to look back on some stuff that we did and be like, well, that was crazy. Or what were you thinking? Um, and we have to forgive ourselves and I can laugh about it now. Um, but during that time I was like a little ashamed and embarrassed. Like, how could I do that? Um, I could have lost all this money. I could have, um, I just, there's other hot mess stories that I have, <laughs> but I can only share with y'all one hot mess story at a time. I can't. <laughs> Um, others will come. I don't know. Maybe I might do a Friday night ladies chat. <laughs> I, we'll see. Um, but I would love to hear your feedback about, have you ever had to mourn the girl that you used to be or your younger self or forgive yourself for certain decisions that you made? It's important to do that. It, it really is. That is part of the healing process. Um, so that is it, ladies. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear your comment. Um, yeah, I hope you all have an amazing weekend. I will get back to you if you leave comments. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, who? those of you who are watching. Sometimes Facebook doesn't show me who's watching. And if you've, um, if you haven't really thought about this or haven't started to forgive the person, the girl that you used to be, definitely is something to think about. It's start the process, start to explore it because it's it's essential in your healing process. Hi, hi, Sharon. How are you? There's sometimes a delay with the with the messages. But I will talk to you soon. Take care, ladies.